Hey guys, this is HBK Grain, and I'm making a video about the boss Avion. He's the fifth boss for Shadow of Colossus, and I'll show you guys how to defeat him. He's a really awesome boss, one of the birds in the game, and like well, you could call him the Falcon, I guess, in a way. And he is super awesome. So I'll show you guys. So again, if you want to know where you have to go, you just have to press R1, and the light will guide you. Make sure you are standing in the sun and whatnot. So that will actually help you how to uh, get to the designated bosses. So as you can see, we have killed one, two, three, four bosses so far, and then we're gonna go get the rest. Uh, so th today we'll be killing the fifth boss and the Avion. Now once you're here, a lot of people get confused in this spot. So you basically have to go in the water and you're going to be going uh, basically right in the front, right as where you see. So we're just going to keep swimming into the water. You can use R2 to go faster a little bit, but it does take your stamina. So you don't really have to worry about that part. So what we're going to do is just get to this spot. You don't even need to go into the water if you like, but I guess you have to press R2 over here. And then once you're out, you're just going to go climb up. So keep climbing up these uh, pedestals, I guess, in a way, or like the ladder type things. So once you're here, you'll see the cutscene as you approach the forefront of that area. So as you climb up the stairs, that beautiful thing will appear. This is like the one of the coolest scenes, like I think, in Shadow of Colossus. <laughs> First time I saw this, I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to kill this thing? Like, I knew like you could climb onto this, but first time I actually had no clue whatsoever how to kill this boss. He's pretty amazing. Now, you're going to just like jump off of here and you basically have to, if you see those pe three pedestals on the water, like floating in the water, like right there in front of us, between these two pillars on the left and the right. So you got to stand on the middle one. If you stand on the left or the right one, it's a little bit difficult to attack them. But if you just stand in the middle one, eh, it's pretty much easier. So do you have to um, you have to use the bow in order to attract him? So like I've, at first I thought like you basically gotta go to his tail and jump on it, but that's like not possible. So like uh, I tried a lot of that, but it didn't work. So once you're up here, you're gonna take out your bow, and you're gonna try to shoot at him. That will trigger him. There we go. Now he's triggered. And he's like, hey, I'm going to get you, boy. And you just jump and hold R2. And that's it. Pretty much it. So while he's taking flight, you got to hold R2. Now, two things. Uh, he has like three weak spots that you got to go to first. So let's wait until. So that's the first one right there. But make sure your uh, stamina bar is full. Because when you, obviously, uh, a bird is in flight or whatever, and you try to, like, cut down his wings, obviously, he's going to flap, and you could lose uh, the entirety of it. So, oh, so, there we go. So, we are losing a lot of... So, make sure you are using... Keeping track of your stamina. Because otherwise, it will be like this, like how you see. So, it could crash... And then you just come back to the spot here. Be careful. 
So when he's still, you could always, uh, like, don't worry about anything. Like, you could just stand on the boss, on uh, any bosses. But when they're flapping their wings and whatnot, you got to be really careful. So that's, like, one thing. So now we're going to go towards the next wing once he's done flapping his wings. So that's, like, the second part. So both uh, wings have a weak uh, point. So, oh, that was close. He's flapping too much. I guess he knows what I'm up to. He's like, I'm not letting you go there, buddy. Who do you think you are? Okay, so we can run over here now. And one more hit on the wing and then he will be... If you fall down, you got to do the same thing just go to that pedestal in the middle so just you gotta and then you just gotta shoot the boss but uh, then he will be flying around so you will have to like aim a little bit further ahead just so that you don't um, uh, drop like he, you you try to get him like quickly as possible so the last one is actually on his tail which he knows very well and we gotta be really careful And that will be it for this boss. There we go. Oh my god, this one looks so cool though. And the sound is so tragic at the end. Like every, every time these guys die. Oh, that is so sad though. I never want these things to die. And uh, f one thing is that you guys can come after to these spots and you basically will see uh, them actually having um, car uh, like their carcass. It will be there. Okay, where is that black smoke rising from? Those black tentacles still be coming here soon. Oh, there they are. We can't evade those tentacles, those black ones. Oh, see, I'm trying to hide in the water, but no, here it comes. Oh, it killed me in the water. Like, there is no mercy. That's how sad that is. And that will be it for the fifth boss, the Avion. He's a really strong one, but, like, it's pretty amazing to kill him. Like, it's pretty much fun. Not to mention the guy is like a falcon, so it's pretty cool. So, since we killed uh, five shadows of uh, Colossus so far, so that's five shadows right there. And each time a shadow is um, killed, you'll see their statues destroyed. Sad story. I feel more sadder for the shadows of uh, Colossus than the chick who we have to revive. And then you hear the word of the gods. And now when you hear the words of the gods, the next foe is... Um, will be a giant lurks under the temple it lusts for destruction but a fool is not So that is it for the fifth boss, the avian guy. So I hope you liked this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and like. And if you guys want to share this with your community, that would be awesome as well. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. Uh, this is HBK Grant signing off. Uh, thank you guys. Have a great one.